What's going on guys? Keaton here from TechSmart and today we're going to be taking a first look at iOS 7. It was just released today as of June 10th, so let's go ahead and take a look. So the entire platform has changed. As we can see here, we have a different slide to unlock feature. It looks a lot more modern and clean. It also features a notification toggle from the bottom where you can access simple things such as brightness, airdrop, camera, calculator, things along those lines. Also, the number sign in is a lot different and it looks a lot more modern. Also, like Android, you can go ahead and swipe down and it'll enable you to see your notification notifications such as calendar things along those lines also the types of reception and you know we've seen four or five bars in the past it is now dots and it just a, looks a lot more clean so a good representation of what each app will look like is the weather app for example it is a lot more interactive it looks a lot more 3d and the animations on here really just make the experience that much greater it really gives you a good representation of what the weather is like and it just makes you feel like you have a device that is new fresh and hip moving on to browsing we're gonna go ahead and talk about Safari so Safari presents you with a much clearer cleaner and hip page than you've seen before. It looks a lot more fresh and modern than we really didn't see with the past iOS's. So it just gives you a better experience whilst browsing and just keeps you on the internet longer. So this can be viewed as a positive or negative, but I'm definitely in favor for the new Safari application. Up next is a new messaging application. So the cool thing about it is iMessage is still present here, but say you would like to go ahead and switch to a new recipient. All you have to do is just swipe over to the left and you'll be able to see all your conversations and contacts. This is great because you'll be able to, you know, get the touching out of the way and just be able to swipe. The camera application has also gotten a redesign. Now it features four modes, photo, video, pano, and square mode. Square mode allows you to enable borders, things along those lines, and gives you a nice grid style. Pano mode is for that glorious panorama that you'd always want. Filters are also included within the app. Up next is photos. So you can go ahead and organize your photos into albums. So this is cool because you can see when the album was created and when it stopped. Uh, and this just gives you a good representation of the photos as a whole. Also, you, be, you will be able to see all the photos within one rather than just having to swipe through each and every photo. Next on the list is Siri. It just works. There's two different voices. It sounds a lot less robotic-y, and it really connects to the user. Also, it understands more commands, and say you'd like to search the web, it gives you a snippet before allowing you to go to the web. Also, it can pull up specific photos that you would like in via the album section, and it's really great because you can obtain your media in a lot quicker way with actual representation versus having to go to the application. It displays it on you for the Siri client. iOS can now be used in the car, and Siri really plays a prominent feature within this. It can go and play music, search maps, make phone calls, and it really just gives you a good way to use it. Also, you can go ahead and text people. So as you see right here, the song Get Lucky is being played. Maps are being able to be, you know, be displayed and give you directions. I uh, go, It's going ahead and routing you whilst allowing you to see a text message you've received, and it will be available in these car models very soon. One cool thing about the App Store is now your applications will automatically update, so there's no need for that notifications that you've seen in the past. Finally is the music app. They've totally redesigned this and it is for the better. So now you can get a good representation in a clean way of all your artists and their songs. You can go and add them to iCloud, buy them, and it just gives you a good way to see your music. Also movies and songs in the uh, physical iTunes store are integrated like we saw in iOS 6. And the iTunes radio is awesome because it competes with RDO and Pandora and you can go ahead and play more songs like a specific song or never see a song like that again. The best part about it is it's free and it's ad free with iTunes Match. I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at iOS 7. If you did, be sure to kick that thumbs up button as it helps the channel out a bunch. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified when we produce a new video regarding iOS 7 or other WWDC content. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video.